Kaylee's uh, graph database open source written in Go. Um, it's very interesting, it's very, very fast. Um, it was written by, uh, or the lead developer used to work for a company that was acquired by Google. And then now the same uh, uh, sort of graph is uh, being used when you uh, make a search on uh, Google on, uh, Google Now. Uh, it's using graph databases, uh, which is very similar to this one. Um, the nice thing about uh, Kaylee is that you can um, replace the uh, the backend, so you can use uh, Bolt DB, which is very fast, or or Level DB, uh, Mongo, even Postgres, even though it's not documented, and I think Cassandra is coming too. Uh, so you can start uh, with uh, embedded. Basically, you can embed it within the process, which is very fast uh, using Bolt. And then if you say that you need uh, stuff like highly availability or uh, um, or clustering, then you can switch to uh, Postgres or uh, maybe Cassandra in the future uh, and slowly uh, scale with your needs. Uh, I'm going to show you the REST interface that comes with it, with the Kaylee. Uh, first command, uh, first thing, there's a config file uh, where I can define uh, where my database is, what what's the uh, backend, where it is. In this case, it's uh, Bolt, which is a single uh, single file, just temp Canada. Um, and I'm going to run this command, which is the init to initialize the database pretty fast. And I'm going to load uh, uh, load a file that have uh, already uh, a bunch of uh, edges and nodes. Um, it's a little different than um, the Neo4j or TitanDB or other databases. Uh, it's, uh, it only has, um, doesn't have uh, key values on edges or nodes. Uh, so basically what you see here is, uh, uh, it's called a quad, because uh, there's four elements here. First is the uh, person Sophie is an ID. The second one is the edge. In this case, it's a type. And the third one is uh, uh, the uh, node, or, or it's called the uh, uh, object. So uh, this one is the subject. Uh, this one is also called the predicate. And the last one is the object. Basically, it's two nodes and an edge. The last one is, I'm not using it. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what to do it. Uh, it's called the label. But I'm just using the three. Uh, 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 three uh, first uh, elements here, and you can see them defining uh, Sophie person and Justin. And I said that Justin uh, uh, he bans puppies, and I have Chrissy here, uh, Sarah and Tyler, a bunch of people, uh, and, and the relationship between them. So I uh, already loaded it, and now I'm going to run the HTTP interface. I could run the REPL, but just for the sake of the demo, and let's. Uh, Let's see the website. It comes with it. Okay, hello world. Let's run some query. Let's see um, who is in love with uh, with someone. Basically, anybody that is in love in our graph. Okay, I see the Justin. Uh, Sarah is in love with Justin here. Uh, Chrissy and Justin himself. Is in love with his wife Sophie. Now it's uh, I didn't mention it, but it's uh, something very uh, the language, the query language is very very similar to uh, Gremlin, uh, which is pretty nice for those who like Gremlin. And that's the most popular query language for graph databases. This is interesting. You can, you can see that you can use JavaScript here, basically it's JavaScript syntax, right? And I'm just assigning it to variables. So I want to know who is uh, who loves Justin, live in the U.S. and move to Canada. And eventually I can just run it at one time and I see that uh, Chrissy is the only one who is, um, has everything that I need to it's, it's an add, end or an in intersection um, yeah that's that's about it and there's also a way to visualize it similar to Neo not as fancy but uh, uh, it's pretty cool um, that's it for Kaylee